Laker fans, I'm with you, man. Wow. The Denver Nuggets just beat us for the third time. The Lakers have lost three in a row. Two in Denver and our first game at home in the Western Conference Finals. We were four games away, four wins away from making another NBA Finals. And now we're just one game away from emulation, elimination. Sucks. It sucks, but it's been a great ride. I enjoyed the playoff run that we had. Uh, I enjoyed the first round. I enjoyed the second round. Um, obviously not enjoying the third round, but I'm happy what the Lakers have been able to do. Especially like after how they started to where we're at now. To me, I'm a little concerned with you guys. Any Laker fans out there who are watching this video. Because next season, LeBron's going to be another year older. And as you guys see in these playoffs, these guys are getting tired. I don't know how I feel about another season with Anthony Davis. Um, just because his injuries, you know, that's a big, big concern. And you have to go through another season. I don't think I ever been concerned about a big guy before. You know, we had guys like Shaq. We had guys like Bynum. Even when Bynum got hurt, you knew when he would come back, he was going to perform um, not at an elite level, but he'll give you something. Then we had Dwight Howard. We had guys like Paul Gasol. And even when we didn't have centers, we had, like, power forwards that would, like, deliver. You know, I think I'm more concerned about this guy than Kwame Brown right now, you know? But there's things that we did see that we like, and we still got one more game. I'm not saying the next game is going to be do or die for us, even though it is. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that I don't think we're going to get eliminated. At least I hope the Lakers can win one. You know, but even if we win that one, you know, the next game at Denver, they're going to destroy us. You know, if we couldn't even win at home. And these games have been all so, so close, just that the Lakers have been not playing defense as as i've been seeing like from here and there you'll see a little sparks of it but i feel like what's going on here is that the denver nuggets are so good at shooting and offense that the lakers haven't been able to perform their defense as much in this round compared to round one or two so they've been just been like trying to stay ahead of the game or catching up playing catch up by making the shots so it is what it is man you know you can't win them all and the lakers you know we keep waiting for that 18 banner you know to finally be the team with the most banners and we came close man we came close and i don't want to sound greedy you know that 2020 championship was still uh bittersweet for us i was just kind of like thinking like oh that'd be cool for lebron and anthony davis to win another ring and then they'll probably be able to bring those guys from that 2020 team and they'll be able to have their parade that they didn't get but just being this close and yet so far sucks man that's our reality man we're going to sleep tonight knowing that we're three and oh we're gonna wake up tomorrow three and oh and then we play one more game in l.a or the Nuggets. I hate to see it. I hate to say it. And I hate to see it. But I think they might sweep us. Because. The first game I thought we had. And we lost it. So the second game slipped out of our hands. This was the chance to bounce back. And we didn't win at home. With our crowd. So. We just went down three games. And they were all closed, and we all had them in the bag. Just that shots didn't go in. We didn't uh, get those second chances for us. And but you gotta, you can't take away what uh, Jamal Murray is doing. You know he's balling right now. He's playing his heart out, and he's proving it on the court. 
and Jokic, you know, he's probably the best big man right now. And he's doing his thing. And he's leading his team to what could be their very first NBA Finals in NBA history. And on the other side, you got Miami, who's really hot right now. So we might be seeing the Miami Heat and the Denver Nuggets, which would be cool for the NBA, you know. I don't know how much views they'll get, but we're having two different teams. And if it all goes down, I hate to say it, I might see, like right now, if you ask me who I think is going to win, I think it might be the Denver Nuggets. Who takes it all? Who thought? I didn't know that, man. I haven't seen the Nuggets play until they played us, and... I don't like it. We're losing. Just thought I'd give my thoughts out here. Disappointing day in LA. Disappointing game for the Lakers and Laker fans. You guys are not alone. I'm with you. We came so close. Hopefully the Lakers can regroup and just leave everything out on that game four. Because they're going to need us. But it's over, guys. Like they said, over and over towards the end. Oh, and 149 teams. Now one single team came back from a 3 and 0. Oh. And I doubt the Lakers are going to do that. Especially LeBron and Anthony Davis playing like some old men out there. And Austin Powers, thank you for delivering what you do. You know, we definitely saw some things there, you know. I'll talk about it in a different video, but there's a lot of key players, role players that we have right now that I like and I want to see next season. But LeBron and Anthony Davis, they're not the answer. They're not the answer that Lakers are looking for and they keep trying to find it. They already switched and traded players. But and it sucks for Russell. Russell Westbrook and um Patrick Beverly, you know, who were going to get their championship rings, that's going out the window, too. <laughs> so it's a loss for everybody. Bunch of L's all over the place, man. The L does not stand for Lakers tonight. It stands for losers. We're about to lose the series, man. God damn it. We had a good run, guys. We had a good run. The Warriors didn't win. The Lakers are not going to win. Phoenix didn't win. The Clippers didn't win. Some chicken nuggets are heading to the finals. And on the other side, you got our rivals, Boston Celtics. We don't want to see Boston. So hopefully Miami makes it 3-0 and and that's it. We'll see what happens tomorrow with Miami and Boston. Uh, yeah. Laker fans, if I have any Laker fans out there, give this video a thumbs up. I know. I know it's tough, but... Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think is making the NBA Finals? Do you think Lakers are going to win one? Do you think we're going to get sweep? Are we going to bounce back? Or are we just going to accept defeat? You know, because the way LeBron and Anthony Davis, they know. They know we're done. I know they know. Even if they come out and play hard, whatever. If they don't come out those first couple minutes, like, giving it all and up 10 points, then it's over. It's over. It's over. I didn't want LeBron to win a single championship. He got one. He got the one from the bubble. But, damn. This sucks. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. As always, it's your boy, Ricky Rick. If I'm not making you laugh, not making you smile, not giving you insane, or giving you something to think about or talk about, your boy, Ricky Rick. It's not doing his job. And today, I'm doing my job, man. I'm doing my job. I'm doing the best that I can, man, to deliver a video. But the Lakers lost. Not once. Not twice. Not three times. Okay, three times. <laughs> Damn. I don't want to see us go home, man. I want to see us win that 18 banner. But it is our reality. All right, guys, I'll let you guys go. I'll see you guys on the next video. Stop crying. You crying. I'm not crying. You crying. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video.